What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. In the last episode, we completed the third stage inside the fortress section of the Drablands. And in this episode, well, we're probably going to finish up that area, but first, I would like to show off that, um, I did go inside Daily Riches, and I picked out another chest, which just so happened to be the wrong chest again. But, uh, someone did tell me there are no wrong chests in Daily Riches. The items that you get from the, you know, non-grand prize chest can actually be used to craft some costumes later on in the game. So, I mean, even though we didn't get the best prize, we still got something that we can use later on. So, it's not all bad. And I think they told me you need, like, five of those weird brown paper bag things in order to get, uh, that other costume. So, I mean, we have three already which isn't that bad, so we just gotta, like, not get the grand prize two more times in that game, and we'll be able to make that costume, whatever it is. Not even sure if we've unlocked it yet, so we'll keep that in mind for later on. Anyways, for now, let's just get ready to go right back into the Drablands and take on the last section of the fortress, the Ladies' Lair. Oh, man, if I didn't know any better, that sounds like somewhat final bossy but of course there are other areas in the drab land so there's no way this is going to be the final boss of the game but i can't imagine there won't be some huge boss battle at the end of this because one it's the only area we can access right now and two it's the last section of the fortress and three it's called the ladies lair for crying out loud like there is bound to be some major boss fight or confrontation with the lady herself um, I don't know if we'll be fighting her or not, though. We might, like, fight some monster that she brings along, so who knows? There's really only one way to find out, and that's by solving these ridiculous puzzles and getting to the end of this. So, um, I think I actually do need to swap my totem here since, really, I think the only goal I have is to hit these two switches, and I'm pretty sure I can do that with my grip shot. So, let's hit the first one. And oh boy, we're on a timer, so we gotta do this quickly. No, that's not good. Um, I think I should still be able to do this. I just gotta go fast and please. No, crap, I messed it up. Oh man. I was like a second off on that. That stinks. All right, not a big deal, though. We can just do this again real quick and please. There we go. I have no idea why that clanked the first time because I did not go, like, any higher up. I just moved slightly more forward, so... I don't know. Items work kind of weird in this game like sometimes you expect them to do stuff and they don't it's really really bizarre I haven't figured out why that is yet Ooh, okay looks like we're in some kind of elevator or something right now um oh no is this what I think it is yes it is oh crap it's like a repeat of the boss from bomb storage Oh no, you guys know how that went too. I am not looking forward to this. And um, yeah, sadly this time we only got one guy throwing bombs, which I guess isn't necessarily a bad thing, but uh, it's certainly gonna make it take a little bit longer. Oh wait, I can just like throw them in there. Never mind. okay, that works. So I don't have to use my gush jar to uh, blow them over there. Or maybe I do, because that one didn't work. That one worked though, I'm so confused, like, Again, items work really, really weird in this game. Also, did I just... I killed the guy throwing the bombs. That was dumb. Why did I do that? Now I gotta use the bombs on the side here. I really should have saved that guy for last. Um, alright, well, I guess we got no choice but to do this. And I suppose we can just, like, throw them at this guy. Or not. Again, I have no idea why that worked a couple of times. And now it's, like, acting like I'm throwing it above where he is. I am so confused, you guys. Oh, you know what it might be? And I just realized this. Um, since this game does use the same art style as The Link Between Worlds, it could be that um, everything in this game is, like, slightly tilted as well, because that's how A Link Between Worlds was. In order to show the 3D models of everybody, it wasn't, like, a straight-on top-down perspective. Um, everything was sort of, like, slanted at a, uh, I don't know, 85 degree angle or something like that. But then, when you look at it from, like, the camera's point of view, everything looked like it was facing straight upward. So, that could be why, uh, certain things act a little bit weird. Because this game uses, like, depth a little bit differently than in A Link Between Worlds. 
So maybe that's why I'm having such a hard time, like, well, for one, figuring out where the heck I am, because I swear I was still on the stage, but, uh, whatever, man. All right, you know what? We're gonna do this the dumb, overly complicated way, and I'm gonna try and just, like, blow it into this carriage, because throwing it is not working, and I am totally done trying to do that. So hopefully, uh, we can get this to work and... Dang it. All right, a little too slow. Got to be a little bit quicker with that. Seriously, I, I don't know why I'm having such trouble with this right now. Like, it's got to be that whole, like, depth perception thing. Because I'm really bad at depth perception in games. Um, so that's, like, my only excuse. All right, that should have actually worked. Like, that explosion blast radius was totally large enough to hit that guy. I'll get it eventually, guys. I know this is probably really, really painful to watch. But, uh, trust me, it's even more... Seriously. <laughs> come on, Matt. Like, come on, man. Just, uh... You can do it, dude. It's not hard, Matt. Like, all you gotta do... Like, hit two buttons, man. Two buttons and some timing. It's really not hard. Alright, there we go. Please. Are you kidding me? That was only the first bomb. Ugh. That means I gotta do this one more time, too. Oh my gosh, this is infuriating for me, so it must be equally as annoying for you guys to watch. Please let this be the one. Alright, we're good. No! I seriously blew it the wrong direction. I cannot believe I just did that. Come on, I had that one too! Ugh. This is the longest elevator ride in the history of elevator rides. Alright, we got this. Yes? Thank goodness! Ugh. See, there are certain things like this that would be way easier in multiplayer than in single player, but at least we did it, man. Like, we lost a lot of HP from that, but um, I'm glad that we at least got it done. That was ridiculous. That should not have taken me that long at all. I apologize, guys, but I don't know, man. There was just something about that that I was not getting. And oh boy, three hearts, that certainly makes it better. At least we're back at full HP, so... Not going to complain about that, but seriously, after all that, just three hearts, like, jeez, man. Alright, stage three. Let's see what we got. As long as it's not like another elevator segment or bomb-blowing puzzle, we should be good. But uh, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying all the different areas and design of this game in general. Like, think about all the places we've seen thus far. Each of them had like its own unique theme and style to it. Uh, they were all colorful and had like really great music. I don't know, like I'm just amazed at how much detail went into these small segmented stages. I think that level of detail sort of makes up for the lack of an overworld in a bit because I feel like if this game did have an overworld, the dungeon segments like this would all feel kind of the same. Like, they wouldn't be varied in design as much as they are, if that makes any sense. And, like, really, the game hasn't repeated anything. Like, there are smaller aspects that have gotten repeated, like, uh, enemy gauntlet stage, like, as you could say, those have been repeated. But, um, everything else from, like, actual puzzles to the way you use items has all been pretty unique thus far. Like, sure, we've been using the same items, but we've been using them in different ways to solve different set of puzzles combined with our totem ability and stuff like that. So it's pretty crazy, you know, how many different uh, puzzles and solutions they thought of for this game. And I mean, we are kind of a little over halfway done, I think. And we still have yet to see like a repeat of something that we did earlier on in the game. That's pretty amazing because that kind of does happen a lot in Zelda games. Like... You'll sort of get a new item or something like that. The game will introduce you to the basic concept of a puzzle and then like further expand on that more and more as you go through a temple or a side quest or something like that. Whereas this game, it sort of contains each idea for the puzzle in its own set of stages and you don't really see that repeated anywhere else. So it does give the game some level of uniqueness to each like set of stages, which I think is really awesome. Anyways, let's keep scaling this tower. I mean, I guess this is sort of like a tower leading to the top of the lady's lair. And I gotta hand it to her, man. She has superb taste for the, uh, you know, ominous and spooky looking tower. Like, she really nailed uh, that design aspect of 
this area. Alright, dude, you need to calm down with your freaking shield. In fact, I'm just going to take it from you. There we go. Now you should be a little bit easier to get rid of. But seriously, this tower is pretty huge, man. I guess really this stage was technically just one of those enemy gauntlet stages designed as a tower, but uh, I don't know, it's still fun. It feels a little bit different at least, so that's always a good thing. Alright, how much more of this tower is there though? Because I definitely saw, yeah, another set of staircases, so... Oh boy, let's see what else is waiting for us at the top of this. Is it the end? Doesn't look like it. Probably got one or two more sets of enemies to go through. Oh, this is probably the end because those look like tough enemies. Oh, wait, never mind. It's just uh, the bomb throwing guys. And also the chain guy with a flaming ball this time. So that's a little more scary. But we should be able to take out these bomb guys. No problem. All right, you know what? We need to not get hit by that giant flaming spiky ball. That'd be great. So you just stay over there and don't even bother me. And uh, now, oh crap, that's not good. <laughs> that is not where I wanted to be. Oh man, wrong link I went to. But all right, we're going to make this work. Hopefully I can blow out his uh, spiky ball. Yeah, there we go. Take that. No more. Oh, never mind. He can just relight it. Well, that did not work as well as I expected it to. You know, we're just going to like go for it and hopefully take him out. There we go. See, not that bad. Took a little bit of damage, but you know what? It was well worth it. We got rid of that guy pretty quickly. At least we did trap him in a corner or two, so that sort of worked out for us. But let's try and uh, reclaim a couple of hearts here before we move on to the boss stage. All right, we should be good to go. Let's just do it. I mean, how bad could it be? Famous last words, huh? huh. Knock before entering a ladies' room, will you? Uh-oh. And there she is, guys. Honestly, she doesn't really look that evil. I am Lady Maud. I stand at the top of the fashion world looking down at you hideously dressed imbeciles. You shouldn't have bothered coming to see me without an appointment. Do you have, like, a secretary I could talk to to maybe, like, I don't know, make an appointment? Are you friends of the princess? And what if I am? Have you come all this way to personally thank me for the gift? Well, not really. I kind of came here to, like, I don't know, maybe beat you up or something. Hmph. Yeah, you don't really like that, do you? Take it off. I mean, if you could, that'd be great. It'd save me a lot of time. Before coming to me and criticizing my sense of style, take a look in the mirror. Oh, no, you didn't just say that to me. Girl. Cursed. My outfit. You all need to be educated, it seems. If you still have something you want to say, come inside. All right, then. My three musketeers are dressed to kill. She's really old. All right, well. Never mind, I take it back. She is positively evil. <laughs> she definitely did not look that evil when we first met her, but that face, man, that is a face only a mother could love. All right. Um, I guess we're gonna have to fight, like, three enemies. So bring it on. What have you got for me? Oh, that thing. The ladies pets. Well, here we go. Are these just like repeat fights of the uh, first couple of bosses that we've actually been through? That's what it looks like, it seems. I like how I was just saying this game hasn't really repeated anything. And then this happens, which is uh, kind of ironic. But I mean, at some point, the game had to repeat something. So... It figures that it would be, you know, the main bosses. At least they look different, you know, instead of just a normal circular spiky thing. Now we got, like, a uh, robotic evil tablecloth attacking us. I mean, that's what it looks like, right? I'm not the only one that's seeing that. And really? You pushed me off? Come on, man. Not cool. Not cool at all. All right, let's just keep dealing damage to it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Take that. Now, uh, she said three musketeers, so I'm assuming... There's going to be another one? Yes, indeedy there is. All right. Oh my gosh, is this like... Is this Moldorm? It's totally freaking Moldorm. Gosh dang it, why? Why'd it have to be this one? I hate Moldorm. All right, whatever. At least we got like the strategy for it, so I'm just going to try and use it, and hopefully... Uh, yep, same strategy will work. Thank goodness, man. I'm so glad I figured that out because honestly, 
it does make fighting a couple of the enemies a little bit easier, and especially this Moldorm fight. So, might take us a little bit longer to get through here, but at least, uh, we probably won't take any damage, you know, if I do this right. Alright, so now he's on, like, phase three Moldorm, so let's toad him up and, uh, try our best to get this last hit on him. Come here, you! Oh, no. Don't even think about it. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Okay, two down, one to go. I actually have no idea what the last one is going to be, to be completely honest. Um, oh, wait. Hang on, what is this thing, actually? This might be new. Although, no, wait. It actually looks kind of like the boss of the water temple, except instead of, like, a bunch of other eyes, it has flaming and ice ball eyes. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just the boss of the water temple. It looks different. Kind of cooler, actually, but, uh, yeah, definitely the same boss. And, oh my gosh, can I just, like, stunlock this guy? That would be amazing if I could. And, oh, no, he can freeze you. Okay, that's, that's not good. Um, this actually does not seem that hard, though. I don't know, like, it seems like if I can just, like, stun this guy again, we'll probably have him beat. Problem is, I gotta get in there and actually do it and stop getting frozen. Let me actually restock on some hearts, because I am getting a little bit low here, and I don't want to take my chances. Um, I wonder, though. Um, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to tote him the other way. I wonder if I can actually hit him from up here, because it doesn't seem like he can hit me while I'm up here, but I can totally still hit him. So this might actually work. Yeah, there we go. We stunned him. All right, cool. Now let's just deal some damage in. Yeah, there we go. Take that, you weird squid thing. And that's it. Fantastic. Ha! We've defeated your three musketeers. What now? How dare you bully my pretty musketeers? You little brutes. <clears throat> and you got your horrid classless stench all over my parlor. Don't you ever come near me again. Trust me, lady, I wouldn't if I didn't have to, but I still obviously have to reverse your curse. Also, giant silver rupee must get- there we go. Alright, I'm happy about that. Um, I guess we're done here, though. So maybe we'll actually get another piece of the ladies' ensemble. I mean, it only makes sense that we would now, considering we didn't get one last time, and now we just had, like, a huge fight against the lady. It makes sense that we would get another piece of her ensemble uh, in one of these chests. So, let's open up this one and see what we get. We got our royal ring. Hey, wait, did I need one of that to build um, the sword suit? I think I did. So, we can build that now. And yeah, we got the lady's collar. Sweet. Two good things in one chest. Oh, but we didn't actually get the rare item. Hmm. I thought we did, but I guess, like, the royal ring is a rare item in the earlier stages, just not in the later stages. That's... Kind of interesting, I guess. Alright, so now we should have enough materials to build the sword suit, which is one costume I did really want to build. And, uh, we need to get another piece of the lady's material, so we should probably bring that to Madame Couture's, and maybe she'll tell us some more stuff about the lady. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, we got new areas unlocked, and some more costumes available to us. Sweet. Let's go and see Madame Couture. Oh, Link! I'm glad to see you are safe and sound. Sup, Combsley? Your fight against the witch is not over yet. Your duty is about to get even more dangerous, boy. Don't forget your fashion essentials and hope that your stitching holds. Plus, I'm counting on you with those bonus challenges too, you know. Bruh, stop nagging me about those bonus challenges, man. They're not getting done, alright? Just get over it. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's head over to Madame Couture's and show her this collar. I'm actually curious to see if we'll learn anything new. Welcome. Oh, it's just you. I heard from Sir Combsley. Things are going well, I take it. Indeed they are. Hmm, is that... One of the ladies' materials? It sure is. At this rate, I'll be able to make the ladies' ensemble pretty soon. We'll need all the ladies' materials for that, though. I trust I can count on you in that regard, boy. Sure can. I've added some new outfits to the catalog. Remember, always keep up with the latest trends. Will do. Alright, so I guess no new story stuff, but we do have more stuff in the catalog, so let's take a look. Uh, we got the Dune Walker Duds. That seems pretty cool. Ninja Gi, Fire Blazer, Light Armor. 
Uh, Gust Garb, interesting. Cheetah Costume, Rupee Regalia, uh, Serpent's Toga, alright, that's weird. Uh, Cheer Outfit, blah blah blah, Sword Suit, yeah, we can't actually build a Sword Suit now, there we go. Alright, so you know what, let's actually build the Sword Suit now, since obviously we can't really make any of the new stuff that we unlocked. Um, but we should be able to make this, yep, there we go. And I believe what this allows us to do is not only have increased damage on our sword, but when we're at full health, we can also shoot like the classic sword laser beam. So that might help us a lot in single player, especially the whole increased damage portion. So there we go. Dang, we look super snazzy. I'm loving it. My gallant little knight, come to whisk me away. Uh, no, not really, but, uh, you can pretend that I did if that makes you feel any better. Alright, and with that, I think that's a good place to end off this video. So if you guys enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But, once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.